There! No! Over there! <gasps> the coconut! It's gone! Tweak! Spotlight! Nothing! Let's take a closer look. Octonauts, let's search the area. I'll head right, Quasi. You head left and... I'll stay right here with the penguin. The name's Claude, but my friends call me the Claw. On account of the fact that I like to crack coconuts open with it. But I'm not a coconut. Ah, oh, sorry. Don't worry, you're not very crackable. <laughs> Hello, darling. Look, there's my wife, Claudette. But her friends call her... The Claw! These here are my sons, Clive, Clem and Clarence. But you can call us... The Claws? Uh, yeah, how did you guess? Yeah, how'd you guess? Oh, I want to thank you all for finding this here coconut of ours. It rolled into the ocean days ago, and since we can't swim, we couldn't go after it. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking it on home where it belongs. Just drop anchor right there. That's my coconut. Now, hold on, son. This coconut's belonged to us for many years, so it stays with us. Yeah, yeah, it stays with us. But that very same coconut bears the mark of me grandfather, Calico Jack. <gasps> you and Calico Jack are family? Oh, well, uh, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. Thanks. So maybe you'd like to tell me how you ended up with my grandfather's coconut. It was many years ago that Calico Jack washed up on the shores of this here very island. He was shipwrecked and hungry. We nursed him back to health with coconut milk, and in return, he told us rip-roaring tales of the open sea. When we woke, he was gone. No note, no nothing. Just this coconut, which we've been trying to crack open ever since. It's downright embarrassing. I mean, cracking coconuts is what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. Well, we couldn't crack it, and you couldn't crack it. Perhaps if we work together, we can all crack it. Then let's get cracking. You two crack while we pull. One, two, three. Deploy the rescue suction line. Aye, aye, Cap. babies! No sign of the creatures yet. No sign of Peso's medical bag either. It could be anywhere in this murky muck. Oh, looks like we've got company. Quasi, you keep them distracted while I search the riverbed. Ready? Ready, Captain. Then let's do this. Hey, you duck-faced furball! Over here! I'm not scared of you, whatever you are! Ah, sure. It's around here somewhere. I did it, Captain! Oh! Whoa! I led those monsters on a wild goose chase. They'll never find us now! This time, Quasi, you look for the bag, and I'll lead the creatures away. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey! Up here! That's it! Ho -ho! Here I am! What's taking the Captain and Quasi so long? Don't worry, Shellington. They'll be back soon. I hope. Ah! Lappity flippers! The egg's hatching! Whoa! Shiver me, whiskers! Peso's bag! Look out, Quasi! Quasi, this way! Shellington, look! Oh, fascinating. A bill. A furry tail. A webbed claw. It's a duck-faced river monster. And it's really cute. Oh, jumping jellyfish. 
that's no monster. It's a baby platypus. A platypus? Uh, platypuses are river creatures that lay eggs. They only live here in Australia. Then those creatures outside must be platypuses too. That's right. And platypus fathers have stingers on their back legs. No wonder he stung me. They want their baby back. I'd better get it back to them before anyone else gets hurt. Careful on that leg, Shellington. I'll be right back. Ah, how do they keep finding us in the dark? We're trapped. Huh? <laughs> We've got you right where we want. Now hand it over. Um, excuse me? And what over? Not gonna cooperate, huh? All right then. Get ready to feel the sting. Stop! Look. Our baby. He's got your bill. <laughs> and your tail. A baby duck-faced monster. It's not a duck-faced monster. It's a duck-billed platypus. It hatched from that egg you found. 